Okay, we're finally back here around uh, this uh, entire area. <laughs> Whew. All right, well. All right, so it looks like uh, day two of uh, Syracuse Collectors Kong is uh, finally here. And uh, yeah, I guess it's after uh, the uh, craziness that I've actually uh, went through right around uh, yesterday. Uh, yeah, it looks like uh, today is actually going to be quite nice for sure. And as you can tell, I'm uh, in my... Uh, in one of my Ash Ketchum uh, cosplays, uh, for sure, uh, basically his Kalos outfit, so I'm really excited to debut that, and, and of course, as always, I got good old uh, Pikachu with me, because, yeah, can't uh, actually uh, be Ash without good old Pikachu, and, and yeah, whew, look at a big uh, chili, uh, has it fun, how, um, though, granted, I think, uh, <laughs> It actually uh, did uh, rain here uh, right around uh, right around last night. Oh, but, um, but not to worry. I think once I uh, get inside, it looks like uh, it'll actually be uh, nice and warm. So, but yeah, other than that, I got, might as well uh, get myself uh, in and yeah, could be in for a really uh, great time by far. And, and yeah. Still want to uh, really take the time to uh, really admire this uh, <laughs> this building uh, right here. It really is uh, quite interesting. Uh, the more you uh, think about it, for sure. But but hey, who am I to uh, judge? But yeah, other than that, might as well uh, get myself uh, in and see what day two of this uh, convention will I uh, have to offer. So so yeah. Hopefully, I think it'll be uh, nice and warm. So. <laughs> Yeah, I guess you could tell I'm already shivering, so, so yeah, might as well get myself in there. This uh, good old Ghostbuster stand without the uh, Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Really look at my behind. <laughs> yeah. And I'm definitely seeing good old uh, Deadpool uh, chilling on his uh, chair. And I knew something was wacky when uh, at about 6 p.m on the Friday that the movie came out, the news was already saying there are lines around the block all over the country. And then the next week, it was lines around the block all over the world. Within a week and a half, I'm doing radio interviews with Australia. Uh, yeah, I you know, and I have to like I have to stay up until like 4:30. I didn't get up at 4:30. I stayed up until 4:30. And uh, so when you talk about the influence of the thing, it's only in retrospect can we put that all together because when I was doing my part of the movie, there was I was I heard a discussion where they were saying this movie was too scary for kids. And you know, uh, it, it made it made 150 million dollars. Hey, you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Judith Hogue, April O'Neil, in the house. Yeah. So yeah, so this thing made 150 million dollars in its initial release, but that's on kids' tickets, which are half price of an adult. That means if this was a grown-up movie. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles at the time would have made three hundred million dollars. Uh, yeah, the, the, the 150 is on kids' tickets. It's crazy. It's uh, so yeah. Uh, no, nobody knew, and then and it happened, and then everybody knew. So behind the scenes, this this movie is being made. And if you listen to podcasts about how movies are made, it is virtually impossible to make. Yeah. <laughs> it takes years, effort, blood, sweat, tears. All that's true. 
and in this whole while, is it occurring to everybody? Judith, welcome. Judith Hogan is here. You're going to live in the Welcome. Hi, Hello. <laughs> so there's no concept while this movie's being made that this is going to be a phenomenon. It's just kind of... I think that's why the subsequent movies are so different in tone, because the first movie they had nothing to lose, so they just made the movie they wanted to, whereas the subsequent two, they're kind of chasing the success of the first one. And so they start messing with the formula, right? Second movie, let's not make it as violent. You want to say? Uh, they made me talk. Michelangelo's voice is way higher in movie two. Uh, yeah, so everything was sort of pitched to to fix all of the complaints people had about one. And so, yeah, so, no, again, nobody. Yeah. So, Todd had mentioned that before doing the screenwriting, he wasn't familiar with the turtles and the big watch the cartoons and such. So, for us, a lot of us just live in this world where we have been turtle fans our entire lives. Me, from birth, I can't remember anything. Uh, besides, it hasn't been turtles. So, my question is, after you guys did this movie, all these movies, and you were introduced to the turtles, have you guys become fans? Do you see yourself reading comics, watching cartoons, following the fandom, uh, since that all came down? I don't know, who's that for? Anybody? Oh, um, I read the comics before uh, I saw the first movie, which I really loved, and uh, so I knew a lot about turtles. Uh, I read a lot of comics when I was a kid anyway, so um, um, it, was, it, it was great to be part of the movie, but uh, yeah, it wasn't, uh, I didn't become a fan after the movie, I was, I was pretty much um, a fan of the comics anyway, before we started. You had to have been paying attention to know the questions. There's not enough coffee in the world. Um, no, it was about how has it led us to family. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I would say mine is squarely placed with Kevin and Peter, who brought me into the comics. When we did the film, I didn't even know there was a cartoon. Didn't find out till later. But according to Todd, that was the, the directive anyway. Um, and I love the iterations of the film, um, or of the of the initials and how it just keeps morphing and changing. And it's crazy fun. I think for me, yeah. So for me, I did not know any, I knew that Ninja Turtles existed when the movie started, but I didn't know anything about the Ninja Turtles, so when I was on set, I actually pointed to Judith as she walked across, and I said to somebody else, I go, who's that? They go, oh, that's April O'Neil, and I'm like, who's April O'Neil? So that's how ignorant I was of the whole mythology of what was going on. Right, but then, and Casey Jones, same thing, who the hell's that? But then, after doing the movie, and stealing the script out of the production office and learning about the whole Ninja Turtle world, What's happened over time is I would say infiltrate. Yes, I was an infiltrate. <laughs> As opposed to becoming like a fan where I'm like, oh, I can't wait for the next Ninja Turtle film to come out. I think what happened to me was I developed the respect and the reverence for what these characters are and what they represent and the mythological archetypes that they are to people. For me, when I was growing up, Star Wars came out. And that sort of imprinted on me the heroic journey and what I wanted to be. And then as I got older and I was a young adult and I made Ninja Turtle movies, years later as I started to meet people through the cons, I started to understand that Ninja Turtles was mythology for a whole other generation. And so, for one time, where I didn't know anything about what Ninja Turtles were, now I understand almost like with biblical fascination what they are and hold them with that level of respect. So, yes, I've become a fan in that way. How long after the movie's release before you actually had to pay for a slice of pizza? Yeah. <laughs> I still don't pay for pizza. <laughs> 
this is me. This guy here, wherever he travels to, he will find a pizza place and he will have, I mean, he, he's got a pizza slice tattoo on his leg. So he's a, he's a real pizza file, as it, as it were. Yeah, so I'm looking for any um, recommendations on local pizza places, no chains, no crap. Okay, I'm luckily later. I'm the right place for that. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah, the right place for the pizza conversation. Um, the, the term is not very distinct personalities. Liam, as a leader, he carries that burden. Uh, not easy on the leader part. The leader is not easy on Like it's uh, looking pretty good. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess I uh, might as well uh, fill you guys in on. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I might as well fill you guys in on uh, what's been uh, going on since uh, the last uh, time uh, entirely. Uh, well, I think so far uh, I actually uh, did uh, manage to uh, meet up with a good number of uh, people that I uh, didn't get the uh, chance to uh, meet up with. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, so far it's uh, actually uh, gone pretty great. Uh, and uh, and yeah, I actually uh, got a good glimpse of, of course, uh, the uh, the Ninja Turtles uh, reunion panel, which uh, you just uh, saw, and uh, and of course, I actually uh, did get to uh, meet up with, of course, uh, pretty much uh, a couple more of the uh, guests uh, that were uh, there. Uh, pretty much uh, got to meet up with, of course, uh, Lisa Ortiz uh, and uh, Marty Grabs. Uh, really, uh, they're really uh, great to uh, talk to uh, by far, and I'm really impressed. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I yeah, got the uh, chance to uh, meet up with uh, those two, especially since after uh, meeting up with uh, Robbie Rist uh, right around yesterday. But yeah, all that sort of stuff. And it looks like I'm seeing a whole line of uh, nothing but Maya DeLoreans uh, wandering about. Yeah, and oh, yeah, I guess a few uh, little bits of a uh, Jagah here, uh, here and there as well. <laughs> yeah. I always do love a you know, really good uh, Star Wars, uh, pretty much a uh, group uh, passing behind as uh, normal. But yeah, all that good uh, stuff, uh, the more I think about it. And honestly, with of course uh, what I'm actually uh, seeing all throughout this uh, entire convention floor uh, by uh, far, yeah, it, it really does, uh, it really does uh, show by far. But yeah, either way, it looks like uh, for this only being a Sunday, uh, pretty much the uh, second day of the uh, convention, I'm still uh, quite surprised on uh, how well it's actually uh, turning out uh, by far, uh, especially uh, with uh, what I've uh, been through uh, yesterday with the uh, with the whole uh, paneling uh, stuff. So, but yeah, I say this is a really good way to you know wind things uh, down a bit uh, from what I can gather. But yeah, other than that, uh, just uh, hopefully, uh, I'll hopefully uh, maybe uh, get some a few things uh, while I'm here, and I'll hopefully uh, get myself uh, some lunch uh, once again because I'm starting to get starving again. But yeah, we'll, we'll probably wait and see what happens and uh, see where uh, we'll go from uh, the here uh, right up until uh, right up until the uh, convention wraps up. But in all honesty, I'm really uh, impressed on uh, how well this. Uh, convention is actually uh, turning out by a uh, far and, and yeah all that good stuff so but yeah either way i'll definitely uh, do what i need to do get myself some lunch and i'll be back up and running uh, once again so so yeah i'll keep you guys updated yeah really looking my behind it and of course, I have to uh, get a good glimpse of the uh, Steve Puff Marshmallow Man that I hung about. But, but it's quite nice. It'll do just fine. So. Alright, looks like I uh, just uh, got off of course, uh, pretty much having a uh, really awesome uh, lunch, uh, which uh, I'll have to say uh, really is uh, quite uh, good, uh, I'm not gonna lie. So. But yeah, either way, uh, you yeah, know, pretty much uh, chiring up with a, a couple of people I. Uh, Ran into uh, for a sure, uh, so. so I guess in all honesty, it actually uh, is uh, 
brilliant uh, from uh, what I've actually uh, seen. Uh, yeah, conventions are always uh, fun uh, to uh, be around, uh, especially with uh, meeting other people uh, for uh, sure. But yeah, I mean that's uh, what I could say on that front. And yeah, still got about uh, yeah, this uh, convention only has about a few hours uh, left, so I uh, still got all the uh, time uh, we need uh, from what I've actually uh, seen. And, and I don't know if you can actually uh, that one right here looks like uh, yeah, it looks like the uh, Ninja Turtles are uh, on about a gang. Uh, Minus uh, Michelangelo. <laughs> Does stink up for the most part, but <laughs> but hey, but hey, I think it is. Uh, it is what it is uh, from what I've actually uh, seen. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look at that. It looks like. Uh, looks like they were actually uh, getting a grip of uh, Robbie Riz, uh, the voice of Michelangelo. I guess that's enough to uh, complete the uh, image uh, right there. Yeah, yeah, Robbie Riz. Uh, yeah. yeah, that is uh, most certainly uh, Robbie Riz uh, over there. So, yeah, really great guy uh, to uh, talk to when I uh, met up with him uh, yesterday. So, but yeah, all that. Uh, Have you yeah, to be actually, is uh, quite interesting uh, from what I've actually seen. But, but yeah. Yeah, I guess all that's left is uh, pretty much uh, do what I need to do for the next uh, few hours uh, right up until uh, the uh, convention is over and yeah, all that good stuff. But yeah, I'll be sure to uh, keep you guys uh, up to date uh, once uh, anything else uh, comes around uh, for sure. But for now, still going to take the uh, time to uh, admire all this. Which... I guess it's uh, all I can do. There's that steam puff marshmallow in here. Yeah, doing a bang-up job at her the uh, kids. Have you seen the Up now, everything's starting to wind down to a close. Whew. Yeah, Ooh, <laughs> I guess I might have uh, zoomed in a little too much, but, but yeah, yeah, I guess uh, looks like uh, as of uh, now, looks like uh, this uh, convention is uh, literally uh, winding down to a close as we uh, speak, and honestly, I uh, do felt this uh, weekend has really uh, gone by super super fast as we uh, speak so but either way i am uh, really impressed on uh, how well this uh, convention actually uh, turned out uh, for sure and uh and yeah look at that i don't know if you can uh see out there it looks like uh i think it looks like uh, the uh, sun finally uh peaked out uh, for sure but yeah 
me a lot, see, I, uh, I really, uh, quite impressed on, uh, how will the, uh, weather actually, uh, cleared up, uh, since, uh, this morning, uh, entirely, and, yeah, really does feel, uh, great, uh, for a sure zone, but yeah, honestly, I think, uh, for, yeah, for, uh, this year's, uh, Syracuse Collectors Con, definitely turned out, uh, really, uh, great, uh, entirely, I'm, uh, absolutely impressed on how it actually, uh, turned out entirely, and, uh, oh, Looks like, we got, oh, looks like we got a fellow stormtrooper here. How's it going? Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Well, actually, uh, pretty well, uh, for sure. I mean, I was, uh, I've literally just uh, spent uh, my entire time uh, covering uh, this uh, kind. So far, it's uh, looking quite nice. Very good. Did you see any droids? I'm looking for some droids and a uh, princess. Um, honestly, I don't know exactly uh, if I have actually uh, seen them, so I'm kind of clueless. Okay, no problem. I'll just keep looking then. Oh, all right, well, good luck with that if you uh, do actually uh, find them. Uh, honestly, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with them. I just know I'm supposed to find them. Yeah. So I'll just keep looking. All right, well, um, don't want to uh, keep your uh, master uh, waiting, huh? No, definitely not. Definitely not. Well, good to know, I guess. Thanks for your help, then, Galactic Citizen. All right, well, yeah, take care. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess I... Uh, I guess I uh, had to uh, be uh, absolutely clueless right in front of the uh, stormtrooper. <laughs> Whew. Well, <laughs> covered that up quite well. But yeah, looks like as of now, looks like I'll be uh, calling in uh, quits for this uh, convention. And yeah, I'm really, uh, I'm really impressed on uh, how well uh, this uh, convention actually uh, turned out. Um, ah. Yeah, looking uh, quite busy then. Well, I'm doing pretty good. Good. Did you have a good time? Oh yeah, I Did have. I uh, uh, literally have been busy uh, covering uh, this uh, whole uh, convention. Awesome. Looking forward to seeing it on uh, online. Oh yeah, most certainly. And I gotta say, for the uh, first time uh, hosting uh, this event, I had a uh, really good time by far. Nice. We had over 1,800 people the first day. I have no clue yet today, but uh, we've had a lot of people here. So I appreciate you coming out and being part of the panel and uh, everybody else that came out. Thank you for coming. We appreciate the support. Yeah, well, what can I say? It looks like I think the input uh, that I actually gave to you uh, before uh, this uh, convention came around must have actually paid off. Huh? Yeah, it did. It did. I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Have a yeah, good one. Yeah. yeah, I'll definitely uh, be looking forward to coming back uh, next year for awesome. sure. Awesome. Appreciate that. Yeah, take care. Uh, yeah, that's uh, definitely uh, Lynn Lake, uh, the uh, organizer of this uh, event. So, but yeah, yeah, I guess uh, if anything, I can't wait to uh, come back uh, this year. Uh, this has to be, uh, without a doubt, the uh, pretty much the uh, best uh, first year uh, convention I've actually uh, been to in uh, quite a while for sure. And, and I'm uh, quite curious to see on uh, well, actually, uh, go for a next. Uh, can you actually uh, live up to the uh, same amount of uh, success uh, that we actually got right here? Only time will tell, folks. Only time will tell. So, but yeah, I guess either way, I guess I'll uh, ramp until then. I think it's about time that I uh, get myself home and, of course, get. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, no, it, 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 it's fine. Uh, yeah, it's totally up behind. Uh, yeah, it's uh, great seeing you three. Yeah. Well. Must have been uh, quite a bit, uh, quite a big surprise uh, seeing a few uh, Hasbro Hotel cosplayers, but but yeah, as uh, where was I? Uh, oh yeah, uh, I guess uh, I guess all that's left for me to do is of course uh, get myself home, get some much needed rest, and yeah, all that good stuff. So, but yeah, what convention I'll be uh, going to for uh, next time? Again, only time will uh, tell on that. So so yeah, I guess I'll leave you at that. So yeah, thank you all so much for uh, watching. Uh, to this uh, long, uh, overlong uh, vlog for sure, and yeah, it is uh, overlong uh, for sure. I've actually uh, been uh, vlogging way more than uh, I expected it to, uh, so. But yeah, it must have paid off, so so yeah. Might as well get myself home and get some uh, much needed uh, rest, and hopefully I'll prep myself up for uh, the next uh, convention uh, coming up very soon, so, so yeah. I guess until then, take care everybody.
special thanks to all of my supporters on Patreon for making today's video possible, including my top tier supporters for this month, VD. So if you want to be like these guys and show your support to us, then go to patreon.com forward slash TV to pledge now, do so, and get some awesome rewards within your budget. Hey guys, this is AkaliTac4427 here, thank you all so much for watching today's video. Feel free to like, comment, and share if you enjoy what you're seeing. If you like what you see here and want to see more videos coming up, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and switch on the notification bell to get notifications and select all notifications to be notified for when we post a new video. And don't forget to switch on notifications on your phone as well. Also, don't forget to check out my second channel and our two-member channel with Sam the Thomas Fan 1, Sam Attack 4427 the Thomas Fan 1 Productions for plenty more content you can't find on here. You can check both of our channels out with the links or by our handles provided on screen. Feel free to shoot me an email with my email address provided, beackley95 at hotmail.com if you want to ask me a question, want to collab with me for a project you've got in the works, or if you want to book me to be featured for a convention coming up. Follow me on my social media pages on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to keep up to date with me on updates, announcements, and new releases of my videos, as well as plenty of others I've got with my handles provided, as well as the links down in the description box below. Also, don't forget to follow me on TikTok for other videos I've got aside from the ones I've posted on YouTube, and on Twitch for any future live streams I've got coming up soon as well as joining our official Discord server to see what we've provided. If you wish to show your support to me, then feel free to check out my Patreon to get sneak peeks of my videos coming up before they go up online, as well as getting access to updates and play more in addition to getting some awesome rewards within your budget. Also, don't forget to check out and show your support to me on my wishlist on Amazon, and even supporting me at streamlabs.com forward slash TV forward slash tip that you can find in the description box below as well as on my Twitch page. And in case you can't find any of the links that are provided, then not to worry about a thing. All the links and stuff are also provided on my link tree that you can also find in the description box below as well as a few selected number of my social media pages. Other than that, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll be sure to see you in the next video. Take care.